What's up guys? Welcome back to Davey Reviews. Today we're going to be talking wallets, EDC wallets, minimalist wallets, whatever you want to call them. I got a bunch of different ones on the table here to go over. Um, I have used them all, so this is going to be my honest opinion. I um, hope you guys can get something out of this. Maybe you find something you like. So stick around, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so as you can see, I got a lot of wallets on the table here. I'm constantly buying different wallets um, for travel and, you know, just I'm kind of, I've kind of gone away from putting the wallet in the back pocket. So, uh, you know, I really look for things that I can put in my front pocket. Um, it just feels more secure, um, you know, as, as much as I travel, walk around airports and, you know, cities that I don't. I don't know. And, you know, usually by myself. Um, so I, I always try to find things for the front pocket that's, you know, comfortable and still holds everything that I need. So um, let's get to this. Uh, we're going to start off. I'm going to move some of these out of the way here. So we're going to start off with this one here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. So this is the Herschel Charlie card wallet um, in camo, obviously. So you got front and back there. Um, so this one has four card slots um, with one slip pocket. You do have the Herschel uh, branding there. You can obviously see where I've used this one. You know, some of the colors kind of faded off, but not a big deal. Stitching has been great. I've had no issues there. Here is your slip pocket. You can see the kind of different different interior there. And you do have this little bitty tag. It barely sticks out, but I'm guessing that's just for looks. Um, so I have some extra cards here on the side. Just some random gift cards. It says four pockets. Um, now I have four cards in there. No issue at all with that. Uh, I do have a few bills here. I, think I got, I don't know, three, $3 just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. So just half folded. Slide it in. There you go. Very, very thin. Now you can get more cards in here. There is two in the front. Chick-fil-A, you got to love it. Two in the front of that one. Costco, two in the back there. Now it is getting tight now. And then two in the back of that one. Push that thing down. So it's very tight now. You're not getting any more cards in that. Um, so that's two, four, six, eight. And then a few bills here. Now you really got to pull that thing open, but you can see I can barely get my hand in there anymore. And how tight that is to come out with just three bills. So the more cards you put in, you are going to be losing this space here. So you can pull a couple of these out. You know, if you don't have as many that you need. So I still have one, two, three, four. And here's four more cards. Let's see if we can get them in here. And... Those are not going to go in there, y'all. Let's see if one will go in. Okay, so one card will go in, but you're not going to get much more than that. But if this is all that you need, you don't, you know, really carry any cash or, you know, you can take this, four cards, that cash fits in there perfectly fine. Super thin profile, as you guys can see there. But... Yeah, I've had this one a while, uh, no issues or complaints. So I hope you like that one. Again, that is the Herschel Charlie card wallet. All right, next one up here. Now this is by Carhartt. This is the just Carhartt nylon pocket wallet. You got one Carhartt patch there. Nothing on the back. 
And you do have this little ring here if you wanted to attach it to something. Um, you know, put a carabiner or something on that, you can. Now, comparative in size, you guys can see how much taller that one is. About the same width. About the same kind of profile. But it is taller. More pockets on this one. This is made of 500D Cadora. Says six to nine cards. And then you have a slip pocket for cash, which is a lot bigger than the other um, Herschel wallet. So let's get some cards in this and see what we can do here. Pull that cash out. So there's one slot, two slots, three slots, four, five, and six. So you can see these stick up to the top, right at the top there. You do have this little push thing here, if you want to push that card out, just to help you get it out a little bit more. You know, I don't know if you want to put your ID in that one. You do have two more pockets right here on both sides. So you could put another card in each side. No problems there. And then again, the more you pack it with cards, this top gets a little tighter, but it is bigger. So let's just do those half folds. Put the cash in there. Now you can see it in the top, obviously, but on the side you can't. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, and then some cash. Now, if you wanted to slide a couple more cards, I got three more. Those cards will go in there. No problem, just push it down. And now it is, it is tight. You're not getting anything else in this. And you can see what happens to the thickness there, you know, just in comparison. Gets a little fat, but Again, still a comfortable wallet, though. I've had no issues with this one. And I kind of go back and forth, guys. Um, depending on where I'm going, what I need, how much I need to take, you know, things of that nature. So that is the Carhartt Nylon Pocket Wallet. Obviously in a camo-ish pattern there. All right, so I know you guys have seen these before. Everybody is using these. These these are the Chums Surf Short Wallet. I got two different ones here, just to kind of show you the difference if you're wanting to know what the camo looks like. There you go. Then we have a black with green. We have the Chums emblem on both. ID window on this side. ID window there. Now these have a zipper. Two zippers, actually. You have one on that side. Nothing, no organization, just a pocket. And then you have one here that gives you access to the ID window. And then you have another pocket right behind there. And I have used these a lot, um, especially traveling, having things zipped up. Um, just gives me a little bit more security. You do have a pocket there as well. On that side with a keychain. So if you wanted to stick a key on there and then tuck it back down in that pocket. I, don't, I rarely ever use keys anymore, so I just keep it tucked in. So let's see how many cards we can get in this one. So again, you just get, you have a zipper pocket on the inside. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get 
getting caught on the zipper there. But that is 10 cards. And then you have your ID window back here on this side. So you just slide the ID right in. You can see it there. And then back behind there, you have another slot. So you see the thing there? And you can fit another card. And so carry permit, you know, whatever it is that you got to put in there. You can fit some coins, a couple of, you know, micro EDC items in here. Again, I got 10 cards, so I don't know if you carry around 10 cards or not, but it will hold it. And you still have room on this side to put your ID and whatever else that you want to put in there. So there is the Chums Surf Short Wallets in camo and then black and green. And these compared to that Carhartt, about the same size there. And then compared to the Herschel, Herschel's just smaller. So let's move those out of the way. All right, next wallet up is from One Tigress. You guys can see the little patch there. It just says One Tigress. Another one on the back just tells you that this is multicam. This is the One Tigress Zipper Wallet 500D Nylon, uh, four interior slots, ID window, and has YKK waterproof zipper so you guys see that that guard there on the zipper so that was a great feature of this wallet you can see it there then you have these two loops on the side so if you wanted to hook it or attach it to anything you could on the back of the outside there is your id window didn't mean to flip you all off and then you have another pocket there behind that one goes all the way down here so that's a pretty deep pocket there and if you can see on the inside you have four slots there's one two three and then four but i want to show you guys what you can actually do with this one so i'm going to put a card in card in that side i'm going to put a card behind and then a card behind that one. So there's four cards in there. Here's your ID window card. There's another slot right there. So that card pretty much disappears back there. But what you can see here, you have four, but also in the middle is you have this extra space. So that is where you can slide some cash. Again, you can't see it. And that'll hold quite a few bills in there. You know, I don't know how much you are gonna put in, but that can hold quite a few bills, um, coins, whatever you guys wanna put in there, other little smaller EDC items you can put in there. Or you can fit more cards as well. So there's four slots, but it will hold more than that. So that is an extra. That's an extra. So right now I have six, seven on the back, extra. So that's eight, eight cards, and then still, still hold the cash, zip it up. It's protected with that guard on the zipper, YKK, so that means they're even better. Now this one's definitely bigger, thicker, as you can tell, I mean, compared to the Herschel, a lot taller, about the same width, but look at how much difference you have there. So this may be more of a back pocket wallet for some of you, um, depending on how tight you wear those jeans. Um, but I have carried this in the front pocket 
um, with no issue, you know, cargo shorts, whatever you want to put it in. But I do like the extra space that you have. I mean, you're probably talking half an inch down there on the bottom that you guys can fit things. So, hope you guys like that one. Um, obviously, I have a lot of camo here. Sorry for that, but I love camo. I'm a fan. So, let me take these cards out, and we will move on to the next one. Oh, there's another pocket there I forgot about. Right behind the ID. So, there's your another card. Got them shoved all in this thing. So that is the One Tigress Zipper Wallet. All right, next wallet up is the Mer Meriden. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. Mirrodin Tactical Bifold. It is RFID blocking with an aluminum frame. Says it holds up to 12 cards and has a cash uh, slot on it. And it comes with this band here that I, you know, not a huge fan of, just to be honest with you. So this one opens up. Here's your aluminum frame. You have a kind of an ID window there, but no plastic. You have an outside. This is where they say is the cash slot, but you cannot put it in. That way, you do have to fold it all the way down. And then you can put it in there. Or you can just put a card in on the outside there if you'd rather do it that way. But you can see the card does stick out, so you'd want to be careful on what you put in there. And on this side, you do have another window there. Again, there's no plastic on that. And that is a very tight fit. Just to let you guys know. Now that card is all the way in. I can't make it go any further and you're not getting a second one in there. Um, but you do have this little thing here. You just push it up and then grab it and pull it out. So I'm, I haven't got on the aluminum frame wallet bandwagon yet just to be honest with you so i haven't used this one a whole lot um but to put the cards in you just put them in the top and you hear it click that is taking the cards so that's one two and you have to find the the right thing there, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And we're getting pretty full. Is it gonna take another one? So nine is it. It will not take another card. So there's nine cards in there. Then you have, let's say, your ID. That is another tight little fit there. Then let's say you have your cash. Slid down in there. And then you have a card put in the back here. So this is why they send the strap, I think, because there is nothing to keep that closed. There's no magnets or anything. So if you if you don't like your wallet just opening up, then you can just take this strap, put it over the wallet, you know, slide it up a little bit here. And there you go. But again, it is thick, it is hard. So, you know, take from that what you will, 
on how, how you feel about that. And then that's, this is the thing about the strap. I don't want to have to mess with this every time I want to get into the wallet. That's, that's the thing. Now to get these cards out, super easy. You just push it up. They come right out. So that part is good, but you have no way of like, you know, fanning through them or anything. So if you're in line trying to pay and you got to get to the last card, you know, that could be a problem. And this slot is tight. But that is probably because, you know, I haven't used it and broken anything in. Um, probably the same for this one on the back. I haven't really broken this thing in to kind of stretch it out a little bit. But it does hold a lot um, with no issue at all. So again, that is the Mirrodin Tactical Bifold Wallet. Now, let me say this. All of these wallets I got from Amazon, except two of them, and I will show you what those got. I will show you what those are here in just a second. All right, guys, next wallet is from House of Jack. It's the House of Jack card wallet. You see the emblem there. It is into the leather, which is really nice. I went with a camo interior. You have an ID slot there. Pocket here. One, two, three card slots. And then two more on the back. Now, I've been using this one quite a bit. You can kind of see the leather turning on this one, which I do not mind at all. Breaking it in nicely. And now, I usually have this thing jam-packed. Um, I usually have my ID and my concealed carry behind the window. I will have card here, card behind that one card behind that one and I will have a card there at least two cards up top so then what I will do is I will take my cash and I will slide that down in there fits nicely and then I'll take a couple of gift cards that I have and I will slide them in the same pocket with the cash. Still not that thick. This leather feels really nice. This one has just really worked out great um, whenever I'm needing to carry more things, which I have had this one in my pocket for probably a month now. Um, you know, if, if I need to go away from, you know, wanting to zip things up and get a more natural wallet feel, I will use this because of the leather. Everything else here is nylon. There's no other leather wallets that I'm using. But this House of Jack is really nice. I like the camo backing. No issue, you know, with that slot at all. All the stitching has been really nice. No issues at all with that. It's just wearing in really nice. All this is just changing color. No issue pulling the cash out. Pull the cash out. Give them whatever you need to give them. Then I'll throw it right back in there. So yeah, this is the House of Jack card wallet. Um... Trying to remember how much this thing was on Amazon. I want to say like $19.99, which is just a ridiculous price for this leather wallet. So let's take all these cards out. So I had one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I had ten cards and a few bills.
Okay, so these last two you're not going to find on Amazon because they come from Countycom. So this is the Countycom Matrix card holder. So this is by far the simplest and thinnest. I mean, this thing is about the thickness of two cards put together. And it only has a sleeve here. Obviously, you can see through that. And a sleeve on that side. So it's made from Dyneema fabric, and it says it holds up to 12 cards plus 10 bills. Now, I'll be very honest with you guys. There's no way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six on that side. And here's three. And there is no spot for bills. So I'm not sure what they think, why they think this thing can hold 12 cards plus 10 bills. I mean, this is three bills. And on the slot where I put three, I can slide it in there, but guys, there's no way that this thing can hold 12 plus 10 bills. There is no other opening on this one. But no, it's not bad. So, I mean, if you're just looking for something very, very minimalist, then this will be the one for you. You know, if you have four cards, so two on each side, and then you want to shove some bills in there, you know, that's no problem. Still very thin, very thin, but 12 cards and 10 bills is not happening in this wallet. Unless over time this thing just gets... A, extremely stretched and broken in I, I don't know I just don't I don't see it but still not bad though this is probably the most you know minimal EDC wallet that I am reviewing today again countycom.com is where you can get that one matrix card holder Dyneema fabric and the last one of the day comes from countycom as well this is the Deep Cover Pouch by Meritac. Holds eight cards, but this can definitely hold more than eight cards. This is more like, this is more like the Chums wallet, right? Almost same exact size. It does have one zipper pouch where the Chums had two. So one zipper pouch. Now this one actually has a pocket clip on the back. All right, pretty deep pocket clip. Comes about up to the edge of the thing there. And one zipper pouch. There is no ID window or anything like that. And obviously you can see I have one of the uh, one of the Night Eyes little multi-tools shoved in there. But let, let me see, how many cards did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. So we'll put nine cards in. Still got some room. Let's see if we can fit this back in there. Okay, that does fit behind the cards. Let's see if we can fit these bills in the front here. Yep. Zips up. So the good thing with this one is, and you can see how thick it is, is not only are you, you know, kind of sliding it in your front pocket, but when you do, you can hook it to your pocket by a pocket clip, and that way it won't fall to the bottom of your pocket. So none of these other ones has that feature, but that is not bad at all. I have used it with, um, you know, some shorts in the summer. Get the bills out. 
But if you didn't have, you know, this big thing in here, you know, that's nine cards. And you can see there, you have plenty of room for bills, coins, you know, like a micro, maybe micro EDC flashlight or something, or even smaller, you know, multi-tool than that, because that thing is just about as long as the wallet. So you can fit a lot of different things in there. So again, these last two, those are from countycom.com. Count. Countycom.com, Matrix, and Deep Cover, but they have a ton of EDC products um, that come from them. Great company. Prices are uh, fairly good as well. So they're just not on Amazon. So you guys go directly to them. Um, I'll try to remember to link their website in the description. But guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know which wallet that you like the best, which wallet that you own, which wallet that you use. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you got any questions about any of these. I'd be happy to answer anything. But until next time, I'm out, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. Catch y'all later.